Hello everybody, this is Russ Bucher from Control My Nikon, and welcome to the Using the Focus Pad tutorial. As you may have seen on the Live View video tutorial, you can use a focus pad within Control My Nikon to fine tune the focus adjustment. And let's take a look at how we can do that. So here we have a uh, Live View up, we're connected to a D7000, we're looking at a flower. And uh, to bring up the focus pad, you just need to go to the Tools menu and focus pad and that brings it up and you could change the size of this however you like I'm going to make it in a really tall and skinny here and on the focus pad here it shows you what the step is when this crosshair here is towards the top it's a smaller step as you can see if you just left click your mouse button on the crosshair and bring it down it's a larger step and that step is the distance the focus will travel between when you adjust your focus. If I drag my crosshairs to the left, it focuses nearer, and if I drag it to the right, it focuses further away. So right now, uh, we're not close enough to it here, so I'm just going to drag left, drag left, drag left again, and if I was to do this further down here, then uh, it's a lot faster. And that's why I make it a little bit taller here to use. So let's try and get this focused. First of all, what you could do is you could double click anywhere and click on AF to autofocus it to get you in the ballpark. And then you could zoom in on it. So I'm going to zoom in on that spot that I autofocused on. Okay, that's about as far as we can go. So uh, now I'm going to get a very small step because I don't want the focus to change much and the smallest step you can have is uh, well you can go down the one but really about seven or eight to most lenses is the lowest you should go you can change the focus using the focus pad by using keyboard shortcuts and there's a keyboard shortcut tutorial video to show you how to set it but I'm just going to take a quick look and see that I can use the S, W, A, and D keys on my keyboard to adjust my focus. So if I use my A key, it's going to bring it nearer and you can actually see the line move. And I'm going to try far instead. So no, that's too far. So I'm going to keep on pressing the A key. And this is a way better way to focus. Uh, it, it's very difficult to get a lot of accuracy just by using the mouse. So I'll keep on pressing the A key, and let's see how far we can go. Now if I want to focus this area in here, I'll just use my A and D key, go back and forth till it looks just right. That's probably the closest right here. You can see there's a bit of depth here, and because I'm at F8 right now, it isn't capturing a completely focused image all the way from down here to the foreground uh, structure. So if I just wanted this part here to be in focus, then this looks pretty good. Now I'm going to zoom out. And this is what it gives me. So let's try focusing on something else. How about uh, this little corner right here? There's a little strand in here I like to focus on. So first of all, I'll autofocus, see how close it gets me. And then I'll zoom in. But it isn't necessary to zoom in, uh, if, but it's helpful to, uh, to get it as accurate as possible. So this little tendril here, I want to get as closely focused as possible. So I'll use my keyboard shortcuts. Let's see how close. That's a little too far. That looks not too bad. A little bit too far in the other direction. This is the best focus that you can really get. If you were working on a computer that had very limited screen real estate, such as on a netbook, you can use the times two button to help move your focus a little faster. So if you go times two, now every time I move my focus, the step is doubled. So maybe you only have this much room for your focus pad. So now when you move it, it moves it a lot. If I go all the way to the bottom here, you get very coarse adjustments. So you can kind of home in on the correct focus just by moving your way up to the top of the focus pad. Now only certain types of lenses 
will allow you to adjust the focus remotely like this. And those are the Nikon CPU lenses. Some third-party CPU lenses work, but there's no guarantee. I've seen some Sigmas that kind of partially work. So, but uh, generally, any of the Nikon CPU lenses will work with this. And that's it. That's how you use the focus pad to adjust your focus within LiveView. Happy tethering.